excited when we're on the porch yes i i'm i can say that um it, it really this conversation is of uh, these conversations that we have i really truly enjoy like i have to talk to my friends about it you know i know they look at it but i said it's nothing like when we're actually recording and, and talking it's just like um uh, we're all in the same room which we're not you know but um it feels like that so and as the kids would say i don't know if they still say this it, off the dome it's not what yeah. the crap? <laughs> it's, not oh, scripted. No. it's not scripted. Exactly. Oh, I'm too hip. Okay, I'm sorry. It's not scripted. <laughs> so, um, this is my topic tonight, y'all. And I know y'all be like, okay, because y'all know y'all might have to, um, you know, be careful when I talk about politics. You know what I mean? Because okay. Um, I become I become a little unhinged. I'll just say that I become a little unhinged in the in the political um, spectrum that's going on now. But I do try to use some reasoning or logic, if that's if I sound right, when um, I think about what are other people thinking during these times where they are against voting or they look at something where they don't. Recall, I'm going to just say recall the history that happened and have a whole different stance on like alternative facts. I'll just say that alternative facts. So um, that's, that's, that's where I stand. Okay. Cause I'm, I'm getting tongue tied already. Just sitting here thinking about it. I, I, I'll be boiling. I'm telling you, I'd be boiling sometimes, but then I'm trying to just, you know, look at it from other people's perspective. Okay. So this is the question. Has there ever been a time where you were in, I'm not going to say Jeopardy, you um didn't think that you were going to vote? I'm just going to paraphrase it. That wasn't the exact question of the question, but y'all know what I'm getting at. Anytime. Mm -hmm. No, not for, me. not for me. Do you um, know people like that? Yeah. I've heard people say things like it don't, it don't matter. Like, you mm -hmm. know, the college, you know, makes the decision. Mm -hmm. They call it the college. Like Ouch. Yeah, so I, why why am I bothering to vote? I always thought, well, I was taught that's your duty, that's your job. It wasn't an option. Yeah, it wasn't an option. So if, don't even get that phone call that day before the day of, and you ain't planning to go, scheduled to go, done went already. Mm -hmm. There wasn't an option. So I grew up like that. I don't I don't know any other way. I, I don't I don't know any other way because I just used to even down to like my uh parents, you know what I mean? Um it was just something that you didn't have an option to really do because this was a part of your duty to 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 make sure you vote. Um but you know we don't live in that time anymore. People come across where you even have celebrities telling especially people of color not to vote. And I don't know what they think the outcome of that is going to be, but I know that you're just not voting. It's really voting. Mm -hmm. yeah. And so to answer your question, Kim, uh -huh. no, I have never not voted since I began voting and voting in, at 18. Um, I grew up in a small town and I actually remember the people who used to work at the pony. And so, um, and I, it's just always been a part of me and what, like you said, like both of you all said, our responsibility to do. Mm -hmm. But you, but I have known and I have heard people say, well, it's the lesser of two evils and, and, and all of them cook it. That may be so. Mm -hmm. It may be so. However, let's talk about the real threat. The threat of not voting means <laughs> not voting the right person means that right, you, may have, you may not have clean air, mm -hmm. you may not have clean water, they mm -hmm. might roll back um, policies and things that are in place now to benefit us. Mm -hmm. um, 
that you may, um, <clears throat> that the educational system may be forever changed, not saying things don't need improvement. Of course, all the things that I, na that I named, we want to make it better. We're constantly on striving to make it better. But when you're talking about destroying things, when you're talking about rolling back, back um, things, when you're talking about the older people not getting their medication, you really have to think about that because all of us, either we're old, going to get old, know somebody old. So you need um, those things. And talking about privatization, I was just talking to who? My, my mom. I was like, privatization, some people can't afford um, um, medic, uh, health care. A lot of people cannot. Exactly. We need those those things. Mm -hmm. We need those things. And so the risk is not voting. That's the risk. No. Not is a risk to a lot of things that is going on today. So don't you think uh, that's hard to that they're just being selfish? I feel like they're being selfish because voting is not an mm -hmm. individual thing. Voting is what helps my 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 family what helps people that i know what helps the majority of people be able to sustain i'm not even saying thrive i'm talking about sustain you know what i mean that's huge and kim you said the right word the majority because some some because some um 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 hmm, political party they want a small sector to be able to thrive mm -hmm. You got to oh. think about the majority of people, what's going on that's going to help us. When you're destroying this earth, we live on it. Mm -hmm. We live on this planet. So, yes, we need the, everything to, we need the, the rules and regulations of, of things that's going up in the air. We need that. Mm -hmm. So, my question is that when, when we think about, let's keep it honest, Project 25 want to wipe out the Department of Education, want to get rid of Medicare, Medicaid. They, it, it, it's, you know, it's just so many things under that Project 25. Um, I, I actually saw it, it, it was a um, congressman in New Jersey where he was at a town hall and the people was asking him, these were senior people asking him, did he even read Project 2025? And he was like, no, I just don't have any reason. That was scary. You see what I'm saying? Because he's also taking advantage of that. These people are senior and they didn't do their due diligence to figure out what was going on. You know, so when I look at when people say, I'm not going to vote because my one vote don't mean anything, but you're a collective group. You see what I'm saying? You're a collective group. And we think about people having um, health issues, chemotherapy. One, one, one episode of getting chemotherapy could be almost $15,000. Do you have $15,000 when you need a whole series of that, you know what I mean, to live? I just think that it's kind of selfish. But then again, I don't think it's just selfish because that's just the 1% who are rich and can take care of it. There's a whole group of foolish people too who where they're just going on what someone tells them and they are even voting against their own interests. We must keep this real. They're voting against their own interests. These people are impoverished and you still want to vote or not vote. You see what I'm saying? I don't understand. I, I, I don't understand. Well, I'm going to be transparent. My, when I'm, I, the first time I'm trying to think, was it for Obama? Mm -hmm. It must have been before that. My daughter was adamant. She says, it doesn't matter. I'm not going to vote. And mm -hmm. I, I was really angry. Mm -hmm. I was I was very angry, mm -hmm. and I said, and I didn't want to pull the card that you live with me, and that's what you're going to do. So mm -hmm. I I approached, yeah, because I that's where I was going, mm -hmm. but I I had to approach it to her like this. I says, well, if it doesn't matter, in the in the grand scheme of things, it should matter to you as an individual, right? So you you put your standards and your morals that you're based on in this home. Mm -hmm. This is what you're supposed to do. You're supposed to give back. You're supposed to be interested in the community and all of these things. You mm -hmm. say this all the time. Kumbaya. Ooh, <laughs> this. Go and vote. Right? Right. And make it mean something to you if it don't mean nothing in the numbers. Mm -hmm. And that's how I had to approach it because I was like, I don't know whether it was this age group. Mm -hmm. I don't know what it is, but I was disgusted. Mm -hmm. I was it embarrassed. Worked. Did it work? It worked. It, it was it was a it was a tough one. It was it was a lot of flashback. I mean, we got really really passionate. It was it was a lot. 
I had to do this, the same thing for my kids. And, and still, this is coming up again. And I got to do the same sermon. You're almost throwing it up in your face, Keisha. It's almost like, I'm going to do it because you said. I don't want you to do it because I said. I want you to understand. It's okay. We'll go with that. Just do it because I said. Long as you get out there and do it. But it don't feel the same. You know I know what I mean? it don't feel the same, but we just need just just we just need, need you to vote right now. Complain yeah, when you complain when you come out the booth, okay? Because uh, first and foremost, I'm not gonna listen to your ass, but I'm just saying I we we just need you to get in the booth, okay? Get in the booth. I never thought I have to do that. I never thought I would have to do that. I know, but you know, this is a whole different time. And I will go right back to social media. We had an episode about that. The BS that's going on social media. Convincing people, and these some of these people, I'll say majority of these people saying this derogatory stuff are paid actors. I'm telling you, you're getting compensated to switch your mind up. And if they think that, and it's sad because it's going towards people of color, you know what I mean? We're going to try to get you off your square so you don't vote. Because guess what? She was the prosecutor. Didn't we hear that last time when she was um, being picked as the vice president? Then when you go look at the facts, it Guess wasn't what? true. It wasn't true. And then you now you now you can't lay, lay on that one. So now we're gonna go to something else. We don't really know her. I think she pretending to be black. I don't know. How do you I don't care if she's purple? <laughs> I'm gonna keep it real. Most people, most people who are black, that don't court cross their mind. I mean, you're just you're you're hell, you're black. You know what I mean? But I'm just saying these little things, these tactics that will keep you away when I'm going to go to this. You don't want to vote because you say that you don't know her, okay? But you do know the other one. Yes. You do you know, know what he's saying for. You are exactly you right. Man. You know the other one. So let me tell you, you were even, I, I say this all the time, I'll give my cat a chance at the presidency before I go and pull that ballot for him. I'm going to be honest because I know what my cat gonna do. She's gonna eat every day. She's gonna come under me with some hugs and stuff. She's not gonna try to make me homeless. She's not gonna try to make me pay all these taxes that I'm already paying. You know what I mean? She's not gonna do these things. I'm just joking with you guys, but I'm just saying, we know what's coming. And if you hear what's coming, I just feel like this. Please stop making it voting a petty thing. You see what I'm saying? A petty thing that it doesn't matter because it does matter. And your one individual vote goes with the team and we should be a team working to make United States come yeah. I'm gonna this United States a place where everybody, everybody has a fair chance. And the job allows you time to do it. And it is early in the morning, it's late in the evening. I don't even remember a time recently when I even had to stand online a long time. Mm -mm. And there's many places that Obama ran and it was around the corner. But that, that, that line was a different line. That line was fun. But I want that <laughs> line to be this line too coming. We stand around the corner, wait with you, go with your friends, go and stand out there. Uh, there all these I mean, about, yeah. You call each other to go out to the club and have a drink, exactly. go home and go have a drink. Go go okay. have a drink. And I, I put this out there to like, you know, people in my area. I asked them, I asked people, like, I, you know, I'm a part of a group called Women of the Word. And I asked the people, the seniors, you need a ride. You know what I mean? Because I live in Jersey, but I don't care where you live. I'm going to come. You know what I mean? And, and get you. So we got to like get out here and kind of promote that. And if somebody is a naysayer, you know what? I, I'm not trying to go into a combative situation with you. Uh, but the alternative is something that could be you don't have any rights. And when I look at the problems where we're talking about little little things, well, what the border do? Look, I'm going to be honest with you. I know the border could be an issue. Um, there has been resolutions put in the place that will, was look, overlooked because a certain person um, sabotaged that. But let's keep in mind. Some of the things that they put out here, you got to really do your own research if it concerns you so you can know what the real facts is. But that should never deter you from voting. Never. No. Never. Never deter you from voting. So that, that that's my two cents on it. And I hope this episode helps somebody to have clear understanding that your one vote is a part of many votes that makes the change. If you want to make the change, you got to be a part of it. Nobody is singling no one out. 
But with you not wanting to vote, you become a part of the problem. Yeah. 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 So final thoughts. I'm getting angry. Um, my f- <laughs> the final thoughts is, that, you know, start off being true to yourself. Right. If, right. If the big picture is too much for you. Don't look at the big picture. Mm-hmm. Just look at yourself as a responsible adult. We have things that we have to do. And these are one of the things we are responsible to do. Mm-hmm. Be responsible to vote. Mm-hmm. Be responsible. If you don't, whatever you do when you get in there, that's your business. Mm-hmm. Hope you make the right decision. But if you just, just get there. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. I, I, I totally agree. Keisha? Final thought is don't make excuses. And if your state has early voting, do that. Mm-hmm. So it's not a problem for you. You can walk in, mm-hmm. go ahead and vote and have it already done. But please don't make an excuse and please vote because you matter. We matter. We matter. I like that. I like that. Um, great episode, ladies. Um, again, I, I, I really hope that anybody listening even if you have a question, you can send us an inbox. You know what I mean? And we'll try our best to answer it. Um, so joining me today is? So it's your girl, Celeste. And normally I say things like self-love and necessary. It's necessary to vote. And that's a part of self-love. It is. Right? You, really... you love yourself enough, you, you, you'll make sure you're heard. you make sure you have a voice. And this is your girl, Keisha. I'm going to tell you what who to vote for. Vote blue. Vote blue. Um, so... <laughs> Oh, oh, blue. Unless you want to go move to another place to live, not the United States. I'm just going to be honest with you. But have a wonderful week on purpose. Make sure you vote. Make sure you get your friends to be there with you. And um, this is important. Make sure you check your registration. Don't take that for granted. Check your registration because there's a lot of slick fish out there. And you might not be registered if you think you're registered. You want to get to the polls and be surprised. So please check your registration. So um, have a wonderful week on purpose. And we're going to continue this conversation and keep you guys informed. Um, we are the ladies of Let's Chit Chat Have a wonderful week on purpose. Take care. <laughs>